Good morning, it's Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing and it's Facebook Live. Welcome back. Thank you very much. We I, missed you. Well, I'm not sure how much you guys miss me, but I appreciate you it. You were too busy to miss us. I know uh, that. <laughs> I was pretty busy. We had a lot of fun. It looks like so, it. So, um, you guys should have seen, hopefully on Facebook, a few pictures. Um, Dave and I were very fortunate to be able to, well, I, fortunate is what you make it sometimes. We saved for a very long time yes. to do this trip. And then, um, this it, one was a long time it, coming. It was a long time coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all had COVID. Right. There was all kinds of things. We couldn't travel for a long time. So we had a number of years to be able to save. Mm -hmm. And so what we did was we saved and then we were able to pay to go on a trip. And we started in Athens, Greece, and we ended up in Rome. And we were in Rome the week of Easter. Perfect time to be in Rome. Well, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when you guys plan trips, think about what's going on. It was, in some areas, like around the Vatican, it was a zoo. Oh, yeah. I can only <laughs> imagine. Just, yes, I've actually been there Holy Week. So yes. yes. Yeah. So it's very, very busy at that point in time. It was... Um, it was exciting in a lot of ways. Yes. So it was... And, and, I've been really lucky over the last 15 years. This is my third trip to Rome. That's what I was going to say. You've been there I before. I have been yes. there before, and I love Rome. Mm -hmm. But you have to love a big city. That's true, too. That is not going to be where you want to be right. if you don't like big cities. So <laughs> it's a big city. So is Athens. Athens has over 5.5 million people in that it. That blows my mind. It, 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 when you look out at the city, it... If you get a, a high, you know, if you go to the Acropolis, you'll get to look out on the city. Sure. And it is just the housing and everything is just right. Everything. There's not a space in between. Anything. And, and so our little Bloomington and our whole county, I think, has 200,000 people, maybe. Yeah. So just yeah. in comparison, it's yeah. a little different from home. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a little different. But I found... Both cities to be absolutely amazing. The people were wonderful. We had incredible food, incredible experiences with getting to meet people. And I brought back a suitcase full of fabric. Surprise! And yeah. so we're going to show you some today. I'll show you again some tomorrow because I brought back a lot. You did. You and did. so, um, but this isn't all about me. This is about what's going on here at the shop. Absolutely. And so we have to get on with that. Let's get on with our giveaway. So just a reminder how this works, guys. If you will share our video and make sure you put a note in the comments that you did, your name will be entered into the drawing for today's giveaway. And today, Margaret chose very wisely this adorable quilt panel. And it is the four seasons. She chose this because... We've had all four this week. This week. <laughs> This, this week, week. <laughs> we've had all four seasons. Here we've in had snowstorms. Yes. We've had beautiful spring weather. Um, okay, maybe we didn't have the leaves falling off the trees. It was pretty windy. Though. <laughs> it was pretty windy. <laughs> but we had summer almost with yes. one of the yes. days. Yes. It was just, uh, it's been a beautiful week in some moments. And then other times it's been pretty Yes, well, pretty I, cold and miserable. I, I think like a so. lot of places, you know, it's just Indiana weather these days. So, <laughs> so be sure that you share the video because this really is cute. You could use it as a single panel. You could cut it up and do different things with it. There's lots of options and we'd love to see what you do with it. So. I think it's really cute. Yes. So I hope you all enjoy it. It is from our folks at, I believe, Three Wishes. Is that who it's from? I can't tell. Okay. It's Wyndham Fabrics. Okay. No, it's Wyndham then. It's Wyndham. But I just thought it was pretty adorable. It so. is adorable. The colors right. are very yes, sweet on Yes, yes. So. It's a very cute p p group of uh, pictures. So um, that will make a nice uh, giveaway for Absolutely. today, I think. Absolutely. Very appropriate, so, I think. So, so we started over here because apparently... Um, Margaret, who follows sports so much, which <laughs> they see, they giggle at me. We do, <laughs> we do. Now, there is this little basketball thing happening, and you know, most people in Bloomington are at least aware of it. But we'll we'll give Margaret a pass. She's been out of town for a couple days. But unfortunately, our Indiana men have not been playing, which is very sad. The Indiana women did a fantastic job. Very proud of them, but. Those Purdue Boilermakers are still in the game, guys. Final four. Oh, that's isn't that like 
There's a, that's like right at the very there. there that's, there's four left. Right. That's it. And that's what I thought. The okay. last time Purdue see, made I don't know it anything far, about sports guys. <laughs> 1980 was the last time Purdue made it this far. It's a big deal. It's a big so, deal. I have a son that's at Purdue. He got his Final Four t-shirt. It arrived Good. yesterday. So we wanted to show off our in honor of Purdue and the Boilermakers. Boiler up, guys. Um, Rachel has this cute little Purdue wall hanging blankie couch throw something or other. Um, lots of cute Purdue fabrics. We've shown that before. We will hopefully get this finished up pretty quickly, but we are working on the shop hop quilt. Yes. Yes. That's coming along. But so, Purdue fabric is here. You could certainly look at her wonderful stitches so here. Does she using is she using the uh, channel locks to I get that? Know. I don't. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. This is great. Rachel is so good, and I'll tell you what. If you want to learn how to do free motion quilting, she is the girl to talk to. Very she is very the cool. girl to talk to. I in have classes in classes. I have plans to make some Purdue shoelaces this weekend. You know. <laughs> I saw your shoelaces, and I didn't see how you made them. On the serger. Oh, oh well, you did okay. that, Margaret. Okay. Did, you, did you notice my top? I love your top. Okay, so my top that. was made exclusively on the L890. Oh, yes. yes. So, um, not obviously super fitted. I got plenty of room. It's kind of an A-line. It's got a cowl neck. I did have to, of course, make the sleeves the right length for my little short arms, but That's I want easy to do. I reason I am even mentioning this is guess what April is. April is What's April? Serger month. Serger month, guys. So, if you do not own a serger yet, this is the perfect month for you to look at sergers. Absolutely, because we have got not just amazing sales we've got some floor models we do we, i'm gonna let you I go grab, grab that, that. Yeah. so um we've got floor models we have sale prices we have a variety of price points for you there is no reason you should not own a serger at this point they are absolutely going to make sewing faster more fun and you will get different projects accomplished more quickly and if you have been kind of playing with some clothing stuff, you need a serger because you know what? Guess how long it took me to make this cute little top? I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing their responses, Dave. So is anybody making a guess? Okay, so what I want you to think about is how would you feel if your sewing time on getting a garment done, you bought it down to maybe two hours? How would you like to get an entire top made for yourself in two hours? Because with knits, you can do that. So this is so easy to put together. It's basically a front, a back, and sleeves, and a collar. None of this takes very long to do. And if you want to learn how to do those kind of things, if you'd like some new I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I keep on looking at what's out in the world for women in clothing, and it isn't great. It is just not great. So what you might want to do is start making some of your own clothes because you can make a lot prettier things than what's out on the market right now. Um, you know, wouldn't it be nice to have something comfortable to wear, but it is not looking like you're wearing sweats? you can wear comfortable clothing that is not sweats. <laughs> so, all right, let's go over and take a quick movement over here because we've got to talk about what's on sale. Margaret, you were just talking about making clothes that fit you. Oh yeah. That was unfortunately a phone call for somebody looking for some alterations. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, um, today we have our garment fitting class. Yes. So our garment fitting class, basically what it boils down to is you get to make a mock-up. I fit it to you because for those of you who don't know, I owned an alteration business for pretty close to 30 years. And in that time, I did a lot of fitting. You did a lot of fitting on a lot of bodies and learned so much about yes. how to do that yes. from hands-on experience. And and just working with so many different kinds of people, very short people, mm -hmm. very tall people, yep. very slender people, very big people. Yes. And so 
I know how to fit people. And so what we do in the fitting class is I fit you and then I change the pattern for you. And you go home with a top, a pair of pants, a jacket, all these things that will fit you. And then you can make clothes and oh my goodness, isn't it? The world is your oyster at that so point. So much fun. It yeah. is so much fun because like right now, I'm going to get ready to show you in a little bit some fabric I brought back from a trip. How cool is it going to be that all I have to do now is I get to sit down at my beautiful L890. Fantastic machine. I'm going to go ahead and cut out some clothes. I'll sit down at this and I will be able to do, even on my wovens, I'll be able to do 90% of my sewing mm -hmm. on my yep. lovely L890. Yes. Yes, for sure. So, this one right here, come on over here, Dave, and show them this beautiful machine. So, what happens with a serger in a, a cover stitch machine is a serger, you get to sew your edges and have them all finished nice and neat so they will not fray on you. I love that. Okay. No French seams to worry about. No, you don't have yeah. to do French seams or Hong Kong finishes mm -hmm. or any other, you know, not a no bunch of zigzags. Zigzags. And, and look how nice and flat it turns out. It's beautiful. it's beautiful. And then what you can do is you can finish off your garment with a cover stitch machine. And look at this. There's the stitching. Look at the bottom of your t-shirts. Look at the bottom of your leggings. All those things, they use this stitch to finish off everything. It's a really useful stitch, I It's think. super useful. But it used to be that you had to have two machines to do this. That's true. Now what you can do is you can buy this beauty. I love this machine, Margaret. I love you, this machine. You have... You had one of these. I had one just like that. You did, and, and we'll talk in a minute what you did with that I, in just I, a I minute. I did something a little different, but I will say as someone who is primarily a quilter, I don't do a lot of garments. Margaret keeps prodding me, but I don't do a lot of garments. But even for someone who has just a little bit of experience with sergers, this machine is the easiest thing to use that I've ever seen. Well, what's really unique about this machine is that I've had customers who have bought it and they have very little experience right. with a serger or a cover stitch machine. Right. And within just a short lesson or two, I will call them after they bought it and, and I'll be like, I haven't seen you. And they're <laughs> like, well, because it made so much sense and it's so easy to use. Now, why is it easy to use? Let's look at this screen for a minute. Oh my goodness, Margaret, the screen. So we always talk about whenever somebody buys a machine from us, they get us. So we are their right. backup and their right. support. Right. We don't usually go home with you to help with that. This, this is gonna go home with you. This is kind of like having us stand right next to you though. Right, yeah. it's got videos that will explain to you how to set up the sewing machine. It presets your tensions mm -hmm. and it does both the surging. Yes. And it does the cover stitching. And to switch between the two is not hard, guys. If I can do it, I promise you can do it. It really is not hard. It's a wonderful, wonderful machine. It's an air threader, so you don't have to stand on your head and figure out how to do it. You know, it now, it's kind of fun what's the story here? One is you can just get the deal right now on this serger. Great deal on a floor model. It is. No, that's not what I'm talking about. The, you can just buy one of the other machines gotcha. that we have gotcha. in the shop right yes. now. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, we only have a couple. That's true. Um, we only have a couple of these. And you will get your your rolling bag, your trolley, and you will get the grab one of those. And the, the, the book? Viewed, no, it's not the book. It's the uh, the uh, accessory case. Oh, yay. So the accessory case and... The accessory case and this rolling trolley, you will get this. Now, why do you want this? Because we have classes about your serger and you will <laughs> want to do this. And the other part about it is that's really cool is actually this is the regular one. The ones for the the alteration or I mean for the uh, for the uh, sergers have a red tag on them. Oh, and not here next door. 
Next door. Next door. <laughs> <laughs> is it that one? It is this yes. one. See, it comes with this beautiful little red tag on it. That's how you can tell the difference. I don't think I even knew that we had those yes. for surgery. We do Let me have hold them. It. We do have them for surgers. And the reason this one's different is because it's got nice big openings oh, yep. for all your surgery stuff. Wow. So these two items come free. Wow. So you get about $700 worth of free gifts with the L890. Wow. Now, the floor model, I can't do quite as much with sure, it. Sure, sure. But the floor model has a discounted price. So... Take a look at our website at universityofsewing.com, and if you click on the price, you'll see a drop-down menu where it shows the floor model price and it shows the regular price. Easy enough. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's move on here to the L860 because the L860 actually gets the same thing. Perfect. You are going to get the trolley bag and the accessory Perfect. case. Perfect. Now, what is the difference between this machine and this machine? There is a stitch that is different. No, it's actually a whole function. A whole function as opposed to a yes. stitch. Okay. This only will do surging. Yes, no cover stitch. No cover stitch. You can't do any of those hemming functions. Yes. So, you really want to think about what, what How what's you're going to use it. Yes. So, but let's move over here to our lovely <laughs> L890 Quilters Edition. It's so pretty. Now, you had the L890, just the, the little regular. black, yeah. the one I have. Yeah. And so, you had that. I did. So, why would you move to getting this one? Couple things comes with some goodies guys some really cool goodies but one of the things that Margaret and I talked about that I really appreciated is the completely white face when you are threading it's a little easier to make sure that thread goes exactly where you want it to go it is and if true. you're in a hurry or distracted because you know none of us are ever distracted while we're sewing that's a little bit of extra that helps I think well it I think the white bright look is gorgeous it is gorgeous I think that the extra feet you're going to get with this Absolutely. are substantial. Absolutely, I haven't even played with the feet yet. You're going to get the Bloom and Grow quilt kit. Yes, you are. I mean, look Here at this is. beautiful kit that's going to come with it. Guys, this is heavy. There's a lot of fabric in here. There's thread. There is specialty thread in here. There is going to be, I mean, this Bloom and Grow quilt is on the front of the surging, the big book of surging. Why you wouldn't want to get this version of it right now, since right. they are the same price. Yes. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want this one instead. Now, I'm going to just tell you, in the shop right now, I only have, I have my floor model, and I have one more. So if you are thinking that this is what you want, so what you're going to get, you're going to get the big book of surging, you're going to get the Bloom and Grow quilt kit with the pattern and the fabric and the thread. You are going to get a trolley. You are going to get a variety of serger feet. Now, this is all listed on the website. And so, th this quilt is so cute. I really wanted to show the pattern. So, it's a beautiful pattern. The quilt is fantastic. Um, but here, let's show it there. That's a better picture. It's the, so darn cute. This is not just a little paper pattern, quilt pattern that you're used to seeing. No, and you know, one of the other things that comes with this that I don't think people realize is that you get a virtual class with it. Yes. The learning or, hub? The, skill, skill hub. hub. Yes. Skill hub. Yes. So skill hub comes with this. Now, what does that mean for you? So for the next, once you actually register it. Yes. Not until you register yes. it. But when you get ready to start on this quilt, and you want to have, you, you know, no matter how good you are at all the things, isn't it helpful to go online, be able to pull up this class? Now, I've actually looked through the class. I've started it. I think this class is extremely well done. I agree. And I, agree. I am a really picky person when it comes to virtual classes. Mm -hmm. This is really well done. So what you've got is you've got the wonderful, I mean, this is a book yeah. that shows you how to do everything. Bernina does such a good job with education, but then you get the virtual class. And that virtual class, you have access to it for two years. 
that is another freebie that comes with this. Absolutely. So you're going to get your trolley. You're going to get your big book of surging, surging quilt, serger quilting. You're going to get the uh, machine. You're going to get the pattern, the kit, the skill builders class. All the feet. All the feet. It is just a great, great deal. And so this is very exceptional right now. And I would highly recommend if you have not pulled the trigger on a serger cover stitch machine yet. That's what this is. It's a serger cover stitch combo machine. If you have not pulled the trigger on this yet, you can use it for quilting. You can use it for sewing clothes. You can use it for finishing edges. If you ever wanted to make pretty napkins. Oh yeah. You know, one of the things I really dislike are paper napkins. I really don't, <laughs> don't like them. At home, we use actually cloth real napkins. napkins. We yes. use real napkins. Yes. And I make usually every year, I usually make another dozen mm -hmm. and we use them until they just are no longer viable. Absolutely. And then sure. I use them for a rag. There you go. And then eventually they make it their way to the trash. But right. it takes right. a really long time for that to happen. Sure. And it's just, you know, we have beautiful linens and cottons here that would make beautiful napkins you can do that in a snap on a serger because it's got that ruled hem function right yes which is fantastic and i'm thinking for your purdue watch party you might need some purdue napkins there to you go, go with your snacks there so you go just a thought there you throw go. that out there okay so these are our most the, the big things the in big this, ones. the big ones in the yeah. serger. Margaret, what if somebody is like, I have no idea why, how I would ever use a serger. I'm afraid of them. I've heard they're scary to use. What would you say to that person? Well, I think that at one point in time, maybe they were scary. To I use. think they were a little scary. I way back were, when. Way back yeah. when. But I think when Bernina came out with the air threading, that was huge. It was huge. But it wasn't just the air threading that made it huge. It was the complement of the computer screen. Heck yeah, for it's sure. It's the complement of the computer screen. So all these three models that we're showing you right here are all with the computer screen. And if I'm not mistaken, Bernina is the only one that offers a serger with the computer. Well, there's other ones that have computers, but they don't have videos. They aren't as clear. See, what what Bernina has right now is what's called a guided mode or an expert mode. <laughs> what the other computers have on them are more like the, the expert mode. I mean, because when you gotcha. look at the expert mode, all it's going to do is it gives you a bunch of, of things the like settings this. And sure. It gives you a bunch of settings. Sure. Now, if you are super familiar with these machines, then maybe that will be enough for you. Right. But if you're not, if right. you're the person you were talking about, yes. so check this out. So when we go to this and we go back here and we're going to get out of that little page of it and we do this, it's actually going to walk me through with videos on every single step. How do I do this? That's just unthreading it. <laughs> I love that. So, and, and most people could probably figure out the unthreading sure, part pretty right. easily. Right. But I will tell you the people who have had sergers, when I sit down at one of these and the first thing I do is cut all my threads and pull my threads out, they absolutely gas. They panic. Yes, that's true. <gasps> you have to rethread it. Oh, yes, no. You have to yeah. rethread it. So it's beautiful and wonderful. And it is not hard to do guys no. give let us give you an opportunity to see it in person come play with it come and see it yeah it, you are really going to enjoy that um i mean we have this beautiful jacket over here people can look at uh that it, it is all done with cover stitch serger stuff so why don't you show them that i'm gonna open Oops. up the the big out oh, that's heavy so let me open this Here's up the jacket that Alice did this one, didn't she, Margaret? She did. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful detail, beautiful decorative stitches So this stitches is the it. inside where the, we are showing surging. And on the outside, this was done with the cover stitch feature. How cool is that? So it's done with a chain stitch. It's done, this is the backside of a cover stitch. It is, it's, she's 
<laughs> gone and put this in here and just popped it in while she was doing her cover stitching. She's hand done a few beads. Very cute. Very, I would have very never cute. thought of a serger as a decorative stitch. Kind no, of thing. and the really wonderful Utility, thing is this this machine is so well done. It goes through all the layers really well. Um, you can adjust your pressure onto the fabric. It's just wonderful. So again, I went on a trip, guys. <laughs> So we're going to show you some fabric that I got. Now, what's really funny is we we bought fabric in Athens. We bought fabric in Crete. We bought fabric in Rome. But all the fabric was from Italy. And, and did we acquire a new suitcase? We I'm did. We, and, and Dave picked out a bright... It was really funny. We get over to this little place, and they're like... They had the red suitcase, and it was all tied up and everything. He goes, I want the red suitcase. The red and they're like, well, how about this suitcase? Because they didn't have to untie it from right. all the stuff. And he goes, no, I want the red suitcase. <laughs> so, Dave's new favorite so, color. Yes, it's Dave's new favorite color. So... For starters, let's let's show this piece of viscose. Viscose is really, really popular in the Mediterranean. Do you know why viscose is really popular in the Mediterranean? Is it cool to wear? It's super. It it's, I'm thinking. it's very comfortable to wear. Yes. It is much more comfortable actually than silk to wear. Really? Yes. It doesn't feel it does it, silk can be kind of warm. Sure. And it can make it because oh, remember yeah. think about the silk knits and so forth. Right. So this is a very comfortable and cool fabric. Um, it won't make you sweat. A natural fiber. And it is, uh, you know, viscose is made up, I believe, from plant fibers. And um, the other cool thing about viscose is once it is pressed and made up into something, it travels fabulously. Ooh, um, the wrinkles you see here are because it was wrapped on a bolt like that. But they're not because it tends to be, it, it's just not a uncomfortable fabric. So then we have a piece right here. And this is another piece of viscose. Feels so nice, Margaret. It does. And this one you can see where it's just not terribly wrinkly. Nope. Even though it's been in a suitcase and traveled half the world. Wow. Um, and the one thing I love about viscose is that it doesn't wrinkle. Once you have it made up and you do, sure. it, the, the, it travels beautifully. A little, you know what you can do with it that's really cool is go and put it on a hanger, put it in the bathroom, and once you take your shower, yes. nice steam, yes. it will just, everything falls right out. Yep, I love that. I love it. So really pretty. Wash so when you talk almost. about this, Margaret, this is your fabric, but you sure. do have that. We have a lot of viscose in the store, guys. The reason I'm mentioning viscose and kind of making a deal about it is because when I discovered this fabric and how well it sews like a little bit of a slick cotton. Oh, that makes sense. So it's it's not a hard fabric to sew. It has There's a shiny version of it. There's a matte version of it. And it will make up almost as easily as any cottons will. Nice. So, and but then it actually hangs nicer. It's prettier. Right. It's drapier. Yes. So, um, so let's go ahead and show them. This is so not me <laughs> most of the time. Because one of the things that I did find in the last few months, if you've been following us, is I found a lot of beautiful denims. Well, this is one I found in Crete. It's really is this cool, not Margaret. Fun? It's really, really. This neat. is so much fun. This is a denim, guys, and it has this beautiful patterning on it. Um, it's got little like waves on it. It does. It's yeah. It's really quite fun. Um, so I'm thinking like a little jean dress. That, that would be it. so cute. A little jean jacket would be cute. Yes, it would be. A jean jacket would be cute. Dave keeps on trying to get me to do a jean <laughs> jacket, and I look ridiculous in jean jackets. Okay, so we have a small piece of brocade that I just loved, and I thought I'm going to use it for a trim on something because it's so pretty. Um, it would make a really your neat cream trend. and black. It's got some stretch mm -hmm. to it, and it's the other way. Oh yeah, yeah. So it has some stretch yeah. to it. It's really cute, and so I'm gonna figure out something to do with this. The back side and the front oh. side are both lovely. You could use so, either. Yes, 
Wow. So very, very pretty. And then we're only going to show two more pieces here. You'll have so, to come back tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, you're going to have to come back tomorrow. So then, <laughs> I'm sorry. Everything in Crete in Greece, it was sparkle. <laughs> Now, I didn't even see this side when I bought this. Oh, wow. What I saw this was one. that oh, side. Which is gorgeous anyway. Gold I thought, blue. <laughs> gold blue. There we go. Golden blue. Oh, or you know what? Yeah. We all have to see if Penny likes this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is so pretty. I And I'm not normally an animal like a... a, a, a te this is kind of that whole uh, reptile. Crocodile kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not normally, but this was just absolutely lovely it's just absolutely the print lovely. is a little subtle even if right. you know the sparkle right. might not but i mean a gold is one of my colors mm -hmm. that i th i really enjoy so i don't know what it's this gorgeous. thing is going to end up being but it's really fun so in the last piece we were in crete and we walk in this shop oh. The whole shop is like a big square square that's not bigger than this whole area. <laughs> and they've got stuff up as high as you could imagine. And I found this. Now, Terry Pello, if you were watching, <laughs> I thought of you when I bought this fabric. Yes. Because I think there's enough you and I could share this. <laughs> it feels it, it's, so nice. It is a nice stretch. It is gorgeous. It is really real. I think it's a beautiful fabric. I, I see love it as a the geometric. I love the color. Skirt or pants. Pants would pants be pants would be really cute. Yes. Circle skirt or not circle skirt, but you know your uh, pencil. your your pencil yeah. skirt. Yeah, your, for sure. Your a nice uh, dress out of it. A jacket. It'd be super. It cute. It would be super cute. Lots of good so, options for this. Okay, thing. guys. Guess what it is. It's time to open the shop. <laughs> Just a quick reminder to make sure you share the video, put a note in the comments that you did so your name can be entered into the drawing for this really cute little panel celebrating all four seasons, which we've had this week here in Indiana. We have. We've had all four seasons. So hopefully next week we will start off with a season called spring. Right. Let's, let's pick one and stick there for a little while. Just right? a little while. Yeah. All right. Okay, everybody. It's wonderful to see you. We will be back tomorrow morning for Facebook Live. Have a great day.